Hi everyone, welcome back to our London series. In this second video, we are bringing you to all sorts of quintessential London tourist activities. We are going to a couple of museums, going to the Royal Opera House, and doing a day trip to Greenwich, and we got the best fish and chips. This is a Circle Line train via High Street Kensington and Victoria. The next station is Paddington. So good morning. Today we're going to the Museum of Natural History, uh, which is another free museum. We did book our tickets ahead of time, so last week. And uh, so yeah, let's check it out. So right behind me is actually the highlight of this museum, so it's the skeleton of a whale. So this is the room for minerals, and so you have pretty much all the minerals that you can think of here, and the room is huge. And now we're heading to what they call the vault, and uh, we're gonna see what they uh, have over there. So the museum has many sections, of course, and we walk by this cross section of a giant sequoia tree, which was apparently uh, 1,300 years old. And then we ended up in the dinosaur section, which was really popular with kids. So this concluded our morning. However, we did have the rest of the afternoon and the weather was glorious. So we really wanted to do a day trip and we decided to do a day trip to Greenwich, which is really easily accessible from uh, central London. So after a 50 minute train ride, we are finally in Greenwich. Uh, we are going to see the Meridian, maybe the museum, but first of all, we have to get lunch at Golden Chippies. So Golden Chippies um, apparently has some of the best fish and chips, so it'd be uh, a shame not to try them. Once you go in, you'll see that this place is tiny. There are many articles talking about Golden Chippy on the walls, and the prices were pretty affordable. So food is here. I have a piece of cod that's humongous. And then this one is the haddock. And we've got cream soda and cherry coke. So the batter is really crispy but light at the same time. The fish is really moist. Oh, and this is a piece of haddock which looks amazing as well. Even before coming to Greenwich, we read that Golden Chippy was ranked um, on TripAdvisor as the best rated fish and chip shop in London. We don't eat fish and chips that often, but I have to say this was so delicious and really worth it if you do come to Greenwich. So we are now in Greenwich Park and more specifically at the Royal Observatory Museum, uh, home to the famous Meridian Line. Once you get to the Royal Observatory, you can stand on the historic Prime Meridian Line. You can visit the planetarium, uh, they have what they call the octagon room, and they also have one of the UK's largest telescopes. The views from the Royal Observatory were really nice and looking towards central London and the walk back to the town of Greenwich was quite pleasant since it was a beautiful sunny day. Once we were back in London, we headed to Oxford Circus Station. We wanted to check out the stores around this area, so we walked around the beautiful streets. There was all sorts of stores, from stores selling luxury items to selling gold. Um, but most importantly, I wanted to go back to Fortnum and Mason. So we are going to try to go back to Fortnum and Mason this time because it was closed last time. 
and it's just at the corner there. So Fortnum & Mason has been open since 1707. It's an absolutely gorgeous department store, famous for selling high quality products. So they have uh, expensive chocolates, luxury teas, they have beautiful china sets, and so many gifts for your loved ones. So next thing you know, it's time for dinner. So we went to Seven Dials Market, which is a beautiful food court. They had tons of options, so we settled for some Asian food. It wasn't the best to be honest, but the masala chai at a separate stall was so good. We then slowly made our way towards the Royal Opera House, but we were really impressed by how many pubs we could find along the way. This was our first time at the Royal Opera House and we thought this was such an architectural masterpiece. It was renovated a few years ago and this was definitely one of the highlights of our visit to London. The next day, we ended up watching the changing of guards again, but instead of waiting in the crowd at Buckingham Palace, we ended up at Wellington Barracks. This place was way less crowded, and we still got to see the guards, hear the music, and most importantly, avoid the crowds. So after watching the changing of the guards for a second time, we are now at uh, Hyde Park, which is walkable from Green Park. I already love this place. First of all, the weather is cooperating very well with us, but then you have all these beautiful swans. From Hyde Park, we had to walk through Knightsbridge to reach the famous Harrods department store that we absolutely needed to visit on this trip. You can find some really nice gifts for your loved ones here, but you can find pretty much everything you want here. 
fine jewelry and watches, high-end clothes and handbags. But my favorite part is definitely the food section. They have restaurants, pre-made food, chocolate, and an amazing bakery. Since we were in the area, we decided to visit the very affluent neighborhood of Chelsea. From my quick search on Google, the average house price in Chelsea is apparently 1.67 million pounds. So this is the neighborhood of Chelsea and the architecture is so gorgeous here. But it is one of the most expensive neighborhoods here in London. This was already a pretty long day for us, but we were not done yet. We took the bus and headed toward the other affluent neighborhood of Mayfair. And this is the neighborhood of Mayfair, which is across from Hyde Park. And of course, it's another quite expensive neighborhood to stay in. Even though London is supposed to be a cold and rainy city in January, we were totally amazed to see many trees in bloom and I think these were plum blossoms. We unexpectedly stumbled upon Mercato Mayfair. It's a food hall located inside a beautiful church and they offer two floors of worldwide cuisine. Now after this really long day of walking, we are finally going for afternoon tea at the JW uh, Governor House. This was actually our first time having afternoon tea in London, and I'm so happy that we picked the GW Grove in our house. I was really impressed with their collection of teas. I picked something from the rare and exclusive collection, but they have so many black teas and green teas and herbal teas. You can even change your choice of tea during your meal. And then the fun part began. We started with an amuse bush. They came to prepare the tea for us. And then we had open sandwiches. And finally, the beautiful tower where we had finger sandwiches at the bottom, scones in the middle, and absolutely delicious pastries at the top. The whole experience was truly wonderful, between the delicious food, the elegant setting, the unexpected sunset behind Hyde Park, and the marvelous live pianist who just made everything better. We didn't really want to leave at that point, but it was time to go to our final stop of the day, which was the British Museum. Even though this is a free museum, we did have to book our tickets ahead of time. <laughs> the 
British Museum is totally a must-see if you come to London between the Rosetta Stone, the Parthenon artifacts, the Egyptian mummies, the Easter Island statue, the bronze plaques from Benin, and even the museum's Great Hall is absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't appreciate everything during our visit, so we might have to go back to the British Museum next time we're in London. So that's the end of our London video. Thank you for watching. We have one more video showing our day trip to Oxford.